Does someone say look for less? Because I am here for it, okay? I am here for it. I am here for it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Kumar. I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed to my channel. After subscribing, make sure you go ahead and you click that bell right next to subscribe, which is going to notify you of whenever I put out a new video. I'm about to be showing you guys seven different looks you can accomplish from using $1 cantaloupe braiding hair. Girl, where are you gonna find that at? seven different looks i got the plug i got the plug for y'all today okay so stay tuned keep on watching i'm about to show you guys how to accomplish this look that you see right here along with six other different looks that you can accomplish using one dollar cantaloupe braiding here from your local beauty supply store i'm not even joking this is real why wouldn't you want to look good for less why wouldn't you want to have your hair looking good for less. If you are anything like me and you don't have that much time on your hands, I have four children, you guys, so I'm always busy. I always got things going on and I don't have time to like, you know, for one, spend a lot of time on my hair. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you all the before I wash my hair. So this is what my hair looks like in its natural state that I had some cornrows underneath this because I was wearing wigs. I wanted to go ahead and do a quick length check in this video because as y'all know, I cut my hair about two years ago now and I've been trying to keep y'all updated on this whole hair care journey. Also put a picture here in case you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about. I literally shaved all of my hair off. All of my hair, I mean bald. I was completely bald and this is where I'm at now. Let's go ahead, let's do the length check. So this is where I am at. My hair is right here. So my hair is right about there. And in the front, it's right about there. Y'all, I was, when I was taking my braids out, I was super shocked, okay, when I felt my hair touching my shoulder like this. In that moment, I was like, what is that? That feels weird. I know I didn't put any extensions in my hair. That just goes to show you how much my hair has grown. Like, I know you guys love these natural hair videos and things like that. I've been telling y'all that I wanted to cut my hair and y'all are not going. Y'all been saying, Jazz, keep your hair, grow your hair out and do some natural hair styles with your hair for, you know, you guys who are natural. You want to see different hair styles that you can do with your natural hair. So we're going to, we're kind of doing that right now. Okay. So yes, I guess for now I've decided to keep the hair. We're not going to cut the hair. We're keeping the hair. The hair is grown. It is thriving. Glory be to God. <laughs> I'm going to go wash the hair and I'll be back. No, I'm not ready yet to show you guys the looks, but y'all, I'm sorry, but I just have to come back just to show y'all this. The curls are popping. Look at all the hair I have. Is this real? Are we for real? Drop the mic. See y'all, it's just hair. It grows back. When I cut my hair, people were like, what are you doing? <sighs> Glory be to God though, it's growing back and it's healthy and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm all of the good things. All right, let's get back to it. I'm all washed up or what now. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Argan and Mademia hair oil. So just to add some moisture, apply all over my hair, all in my scalp. Um, so right now my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower exactly how I want it to be since I'm doing a ponytail look, you guys. And I'm not adding any heat to my hair. I want it to come out looking smooth and just on fleek. Do people even say on fleek anymore? I go ahead and I just start parting my hair in the back. I'm going to be putting my hair together in sections because... If I was to just go ahead and put my whole hair in a ponytail, so if I was to just go ahead and try to put my whole hair in a ponytail like this, that ain't going to work out very well. My hair is just going to clump together and it's not going to come out looking as smooth as I would like it. Honey, it's going to be bad. With this 4C natural hair, it ain't going to be good. We want it to be smooth. So I'm doing it in sections. Going in with my Eco Styling Gel. So I'm creating the first look for you guys right now. I just apply that. Then I go ahead and I get my brush and I just brush that up. I just put this in a pony and then I part the next row. Like I said, I work my way up. So for this very first look, you guys, I am leaving some hair in the front. So I'm just parting this and then the rest of the hair will go up in the ponytail. So it's going to be laid back, honey, just like that. Y'all see how smooth that is? 
Using my hair clip, I'm just gonna clip this hair out of the way. I'm about to go ahead and put the rest of the hair up in a ponytail. So going in with my Eco Gel. And then I'm gonna take that ponytail out of the back that I created earlier and I'm just gonna join it with the rest of the ponytail. That makes it so much easier instead of trying to take a pile of hair and group it all together all at once. Now I'm just going ahead and just molding my hair into where I want it to be placed how, how I want the pony and I want a high ponytail and then you want your ponytail to be as small as you possibly can get it. Now going ahead using my Gorilla Snot Gel I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over my head just to give me whoop, just to give me like that smoother look that I want just to hold the hair in place even more. If I don't do that on this 4C hair it ain't gonna come out as smooth as I want and we want it to be smooth we want it to be laid so just going in with my brush and slick the hair back even more and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rubber band method and then split the hair into parts okay I'm just gonna go ahead and split it right down the middle like so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of edge control just to smooth that down. I am using the even edge control, you guys, in the color purple grape, the grape flavor. I'm going in with my edge control brush. We're just going to go ahead and twist each strand of hair. So try to twist it as tight as you can because then it defines the look. So crisscross applesauce and then we're just going to go ahead and take a pin and just pin it. Okay, so that is pin. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one. We're going to pin it. So, and then that's just gonna go into this ponytail. Using my even edge control. Okay, so creating like a little baby hair moment here. Nothing too crazy. Just leaving a little bit of hair out. Yeah, my edges is crying, okay? Don't mind it. <laughs> we need some edges here. Yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and add the ponytail. Using my Cacalon pre-scratched braiding hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the ponytail. So, it already came with the um, elastic. Once I have it attached to the ponytail, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Place it how I wanna place it. It's looking good, isn't it, y'all? Yes. And then taking just a little bit of this hair right here in the front, I'm gonna be using this hair to wrap it around. It just gives me a seamless finish. So it looks more natural, you know? And start wrapping it around the ponytail. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. And then once you get to the end, I have this little tail here. I'm just gonna go ahead using a bobby pin. I'm just gonna go ahead and just pin it to the back. All right y'all, so here's the very first style that you can do with your braiding hair. How cute is that? So you can either choose to do it on the side or you can rock it like this. I think I kind of like it more on the side, y'all. And then the very next look, you guys, is super easy. Super easy, I mean like so easy, it requires really no effort. So you're just gonna go ahead and take all of the hair like this, wrapping it around. So that is look number two, using your braiding hair. Now you got yourself a, like a little halo. Super easy, y'all. Like I said, this requires like no effort. This one is so easy. And then look number three. I'm just separating the hair into three different parts. I'm gonna braid the hair to the side. You can either braid it, y'all, or you can go ahead and twist it. And you don't want to braid this too tight. Y'all can see here I'm braiding it very gently. It just gives it like a really nice clean finish like that fish braid. Now we got this long, beautiful side ponytail. You can't tell me nothing. Look number four. This is creating like that halo, but except we have it in braids, which is super pretty. So we're just gonna wrap it around. 
really really pretty now you got yourself this beautiful halo you can go ahead and secure with the bobby pin but i'm not going to just for video purpose just to save some time so so pretty all right y'all so we got the hair back down we're gonna repeat those same steps just adding some more gel and we're gonna put it back in the ponytail i put some of the hair back so now i only have two strands of hair in the front going in with my gorilla snot gel I'm just gonna go ahead. This thing is pretty sticky. And I'm just molding it to where I want it to be. You want this part to be pretty tight. This is what sets the tone, you guys, for how sleek and nice your hair turns out looking like. So I have two braiding hair here for each side, They're pretty even. I'm gonna go ahead now and install it, AKA braid it. <laughs> So now I am done braiding. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the ponytail again. Same thing that I did the first time. And we're just gonna secure it. Okay, flip it back. Adding a little bit more hair than I did with that first one that I did. The reason why I'm adding a little bit more hair this time is because I wanna create more volume. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. We're just wrapping. Now y'all see what I was saying? It gives it that more volume look on the top. And a little bit of hand combing just to smooth it out a little bit. Now you got yourself look number five. Very, very pretty, you guys. I love this look. The braids just adds like a little oomph to it. Gives it a little bit of, you know? It's really like a youthful look with this one. This time, all the hair is gonna go up, 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 and away we go. This is your classic ponytail look that I'm about to create right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out some baby hairs before I put the hair in the ponytail this time. We're back to square one. We're just applying the gel, and I want this to sit about here, so pretty high. I'm just slicking everything back. I'm gonna add more gel because the fact that I didn't blow dry my hair, I wanna make sure that this comes off looking really just sleek and give me a really nice clean finish. Nice and secure in there. Okay. We looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some even. This thing is magic. It helps to really sleek down your hair. I like it. I'm gonna go back in with my brush just to sleek everything down. Well, same thing that I've been doing. I'm just wrapping it around my ponytail. Okay, y'all. So once I have it on there, I'm just gonna flip it back. Okay, I'm gonna take some hair from this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and just wrap it all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and brush the hair down. Get it all nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead now and do my baby hair. A little bit right here. Some of that e-band again. Super cute, y'all. You guys, that is that for the classic ponytail look. final look number seven so we're gonna leave the hair how it is and what we're creating you guys right now are bubble twists I want to call them so as y'all can see using the ponytail holder I just passed it through I'm just gonna pull the hair apart like that and we're gonna do the second one and you want to give it like a good little spacing enough spacing as you can see here it's coming along right just pass it through you guys as y'all can see it's coming together pass it through there drag that down a little bit where I want it I'm gonna just make it a little tighter right there 
it's all up to you how many bubbles you want to create here and then I'm just gonna add the last one so this is what it's looking like right now now you can either go ahead and leave it like this is whatever you desire whichever vibes you're going for but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pull it apart a little bit just to give it more of that chunkier look okay super pretty right super pretty so like I said, it all depends on your um, preference and you will see as you scratch the hair, you're going to need to adjust your hair binder um, because it's going to start pulling up. Yeah, that is it. That is the last and final look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these looks did you like the most? Which one would you be rocking? And if you do try it, please let me know. You can go ahead and message me on Instagram, you guys. I will have my Instagram over here on the screen so y'all can message me. I would love to see what you guys' hair turned out looking like um, using your braiding hair for cheap. I literally paid only $1, you guys, at my local beauty supply store to create these looks. And I only use one pack of hair, so literally I spent one dollar to create all of these looks. Seven different looks for only a dollar. You can't beat it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you like the video, you guys, because it really helps out my channel so much and it lets me know that you guys actually like the video so I can continue to create content like this that you guys like. Make sure you go ahead and you subscribe if you have not done so already. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling my. Oh.